Okay, it's our start day on a 26 gauge standing seam re-roof. We're out in Attica this morning. And of course we're just rolling up on the job. You can see this is a wood sided structure, two story. There's a pattern we see all the time. The cedar's been run a little too tight to the shingles and starts wicking water. I see that all the time. And I will show you how we correct that easily and efficiently. And again, just this is the front. I will swing around to the back. And there's the shot of the back. Same condition. You can see all the damage. Staining and rot. And that's it. Next time I show you, it will be when metal's going on. Okay, just finished this one up. Joe Miller, ASI. This is a 26 gauge standing seam on a private home out in Attica, Michigan. We just went over a single layer of shingles. There's the front and the back. One thing I'd like to point out, this one had the rot on the lower pieces of cedar siding, so we cut a two inch slot out on that last panel next to it. We actually bent the whole panel up the wall, so we cut two inches of wood out bent the panel at three inches, put it up and under that wood siding, and then cover flashed it, So and then caulked the cover flashing. But even if that cover flashing fails in five or 10 or 20 years, it will never leak because my metal actually goes up under that wood siding. So again, that's just another thing we do, you know, make sure everything buttons up and lasts forever. Uh, something good to know. Um, that's just not, you know, caulked in or anything else that we see a lot of. That's actually a lifetime, you know, a, a way to do it. That's going to last a lifetime. You don't have to worry about the caulk failing or anything like that. Of course, here you can see the panel. My panel is about four inches short. And that four inches we bent up that whole wall. And it is a, a done deal. Okay, signing off from Attica, Joe Miller, ASI.